हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्लेन कलर बायो केमिस्ट्री बाई डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अल्फा कॉम्प्लीमेंटेशंस इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ब्लू वाइट स्क्रीमिंग दैट टाइम वी हैव सीन इन द केस ऑफ प्लाजमिट्स वी आर हैविंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ मार्कर्स वन इज एंटीबायोटिक रेसिस्टेंस मार्कर एंड अदर वन इज लैक जेड जीन्स सो दिस लैक जेड जीन्स नॉर्मली गोइंग टू गिव अस बीटा गैलेक्ट्रोसिडेज इन जाइम्स and this beta galactosidase enzymes is normally going to metabolize this axgal axgal is a chemical which chem whose chemical name is 5 bromo 4 chloro 3 indolite beta d galactoside this is short forms we are going to use this is axgal so if this beta galactosidase enzyme is produced by a beta, uh, bacterial uh, plasmids if this gene is intact they will have beta galactosidase enzymes and if this beta galactosidase enzymes will be there then this axgal will be metabolized and from this one this galactoside components will be separated and the remaining fragment that is 5 bromo 4 chloro 3 hydroxy indolyl is going to be dimerized and ultimately going to give us blue color which means if you are having a bacterial cell where you are having a plasmids and in this plasmid if this lac z gene is intact means there are no transformation occurs no insertion occurs it means in that that is going to give us blue color and if gene will be any gene of interest will be inserted there beta galactosidase will not be produced and that will give you white colony so this is the uh, overall picture of the blue white screenings so we are having a plasmids in this plasmids if gene will be inserted here then uh, means uh, this lac z genes is going to be in inactivated so we will not have a product of lac z gene in that case if a bacterial cell is having self ligated uh, plasmids where without any insertion no gene of interest has been inserted in that case this lac z gene is intact and lac z gene will give me beta galactosidase bacteria it will bacteria will get beta galactosidase and beta galactosidase will metabolize axgal and blue colony will be formed so this is this cells type of cells will be discarded and if there is no plasmid will be there in that case because uh, they don't have any kind of antibiotic resistance so such type of bacteria will be die because of the antibiotic so this will also be discarded the we had selected this type of bacteria where insertion had been there and in because of that insertion lac z gene was inactivated and no beta galactosidase was produced and the colony was white so white colony was picked and that was be normally cultured but in that case there is a problem problem is if your gene is intact so this is if plasmid is there and if this plasmid is going to give a uh, inactivated means if this gene is inactivated means no beta galactosidase will be produced so because of this plasmids no beta galactosidase means it should colony should be white gene is there plasmid is there gene of interest is there so colony should be white but because bacteria is having their own main chromosome which is having lac z genes so because of this lac z genes it will produce beta galactosidase and it will give you blue colony so overall colony will looks like blue so your transformed cells will also looks like a blue colony and blue colony normally we are going to discard it so how to overcome this problem this situations for that one we are having a beta uh, galactosidase uh, alpha complementation processes so we are going to see alpha complementation process before that one we should understand what is beta galactosidase and how it works so normally beta galactosidase is a enzymes uh, which is involved in the lactose metabolic process this is having four different subunits so it is a tetramer of two alpha and two omega subunits so this is a functional beta galactosidase which is having four subunits if bacteria is having this functional beta galactosidase which metabolizes axgal and because this gene will be in expressed in terms of iptg so if this enzyme is going to metabolize this axgal and ultimately blue colony will be produced but unfortunately or fortunately if any of the fragment is missing either alpha is missing or omega is missing means we are going to have non functional beta galactosidase in non functional beta galactosidase means you don't have a complete forms or complete tetrameric forms of beta galactosidase in that case 
non functional beta galactosidase enzyme is going to be there and that will not metabolize alpha x gal and if x gal will not be metabolized we will have a white colony so this is the mechanism behind this alpha complementations so what we are going to do uh, we if we will have this omega subunit uh, genes at one component at one place from other sources we are going to bacteria is going to get alpha when these two will join together they will give you a functional of uh, beta galactosidase and till you are having alpha you are going to you are you will have non functional beta galactosidase you will get white colony but once this alpha and omega will combine together this will give you a functional beta galactosidase and white colony will you will not get you will get a blue colony because x gal will be metabolized so we are going to use this methodology now exact principle for this alpha complementation is in this alpha complementations we are bacteria in the plasmid we are not going to get whole lac z genes rather in place of lac z genes we are going to use some kind of of uh, only 56 residue of the alpha galactosidase that is only alpha components means we had alpha and omega so only alpha genes we are going to use on the plasmids that is only 59 residue from this whole enzyme so on the plasmid we are having alpha fra components and so this produces if this gene will be there uh, if this lac z gene will be intact intact means no insertion is there in that case it will give me alpha fragment or bacteria will get alpha fragment and this main chromosome of bacteria is also will be mutant this is called as lac z delt this is called as mutant mutant's name is lac z delta m 15 mutant so this is mutant so that it is going to give only omega fragment it will not forms this will not form alpha fragment and this will not form omega fragment so we are going to have the production of alpha and omega at two different locations so plasmid gives alpha and uh, main chromosome gives omega if this gene is intact lac z gene is intact then only alpha will be formed and in that case it, these two will combine together and give us a functional beta galactosidase and be, beta functional beta galactosidase metabolize x gal and gives us blue colony but when we are having a transformed plasmids transformed plasmids means gene of interest has been inserted in that case this lac z gene has been fragmented and so we will not have any expression of lac z gene and no lac z gene means no alpha components will be produced here because this gene has been insertional inactivated but this main chromosome which is having omega gene component so they will produce omega but because alpha is not there so we will not have finally functional uh, beta galactosidase only omega is there no alpha is there so without alpha it will not be a functional enzyme and if it is not functional it will not metabolize x gal and ultimately we will not have a blue colony we will have a white colony so this is the mechanism we are going to have alpha components only on the plasmids and omega genes only on the main chromosomes so when these two will combine together then only gene will be, you will have a uh, if these two will if you will have intact chromosomes then we will have alpha and omega join together and you will have a blue colony but in case of transformed cells like this in this case when we are having our gene of interest is inserted so we are going to get white colony not a blue colony so this is the here we at this place we are going to select exactly transformed cells means whatever white colony we are having that is only transformed cells and that will be picked up and it will be cultured and it will be uh, isolated and stored for the further usage so this is the alpha complementation process so this is all about alpha complementation and blue white screening uh, hope you like the video uh, if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it thank you very much have a nice day